To import existing content into your Canvas course, navigate to the empty course, that is the course that you want to put the content into. And it's always best to do this while your course is in unpublished status. So open the empty course. You can import existing content from two different places, from the Commons. At Niagara University, we have our own internal Commons, which includes things like the Niagara University course template, which is right here for you to use. If you're curious what it looks like, it turns your class into more of a Niagara themed fill in the blank type course. So you can import this by clicking on it, clicking import, and then selecting which course you'd like to import it into. You can also import existing course content from a class you taught in a previous semester. And you do that by clicking on import existing content. From the drop down menu, you'll want to choose copy a Canvas course. Here you'll search for your course's name and then select it. You can choose to import all of the course's content or just specific content. All of the course content will include everything, including any previous announcements you made in that last course. So you might want to be careful there. I'm going to choose select specific content so you can see what that looks like. You also have the ability to adjust the due dates and any events in the class. What you'd need to do is put in the old class's start date and then when this next class begins. So for example, in this course, it was taught in summer. So the old start date was May 22nd. And this upcoming semester, the start date is now August 28th. You would do the same thing for the end dates as well if you choose to. What Canvas does is counts out how many days from the start date a certain assignment is due or a module opened. So was it on the 100th day of class? Was it 90 days from the start date? So it's not going to be perfect because the weekends are going to be a bit different but it may help you get set up for the new semester. Your other option is to remove the dates entirely, and then you can just put in the new dates for this new semester. Once you've kind of made these settings the way you like them, go ahead and click the Import button. Down here, it's waiting for me to select what content I want to bring over, because remember I said I wanted to select specific content. So I can click the purple Select Content button, and I can check the boxes if I want to bring everything over, or I can click on these little arrows to give myself more choices if I only want to bring a few things over. So tick the boxes of the things you'd like to bring over. And then finish by clicking Select Content. What you'll see is it first queues this import, and then in a few minutes it'll start to run. This can take a few minutes depending on how much content is in the course. You'll see a green button here that says completed once the import has finished running. And of course, then you can start looking around to make sure your things are where you expect them to be.